7 Maple Street is vinyl sided. It has a metal roof. Behind the home is a fenced in area for your dogs. Hello, I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. Thank you for listening and watching the Maine Real Estate Channel. Coming in off the back door, there's a storage porch and there's a family room with a pellet stove. The place needs some work, but the price reflects that. The kitchen gas stove, made to look like the old time, it's a genuine imitation, it's modern. There are the built-in cabinets from yesteryear. There's a black refrigerator. There's a center island. Handyman house. One to fix, paint, flip, or consider it cheaper than rent. Living here. Stained glass windows in the pantry and in every single window are just about. There's not just two or three of them. Wayne's coated formal dining room and another one of those stained glass windows on top. More stained glass, bay windows in the living room, and yep, that's a section of the ceiling, the old plaster that needs some sheetrock. There's hardwood floors underneath. The homes were well built, this was just been a little neglected. But the price reflects that. Here's another pellet stove. More stained glass on all of these window tops. I know, that's kind of neat. You have a front entry, a chance to go upstairs, because this can be and was in the past a duplex. This is your first floor bedroom. That blanket box, that seat will open up for storage. There is a fan light. I really like these windows, but I'd get rid of the plastic and tighten it up. Six rooms and this bathroom on the first floor. You and I are gonna trot upstairs. Again, the price, look down below and see the details and the pricing on this one. Second floor, please, we're going up. At the head of the stairs, on this home that you don't need a car because you're so centrally located, is more stained glass. There's wood floors. Original Christian doors in place. Originally, this has an oil hot air heating system. We're not sure about the furnace, so we're not making any claims. They use two pellet stoves and they're warm as toast. This could be the living room if it's a second floor apartment, or it's one great big master bedroom if you put French doors in that archway. This bedroom with more stained glass and the fan light and a closet is more of a storage area. When you have a lot of cargo and you're trying to remodel, it's better to pick one designated holding area rather than have stuff spread all around the house. Bedroom two or three, depending how you configure the upstairs. Ideal main home, a short walk from everything that you can buy for a small amount of money that's cheaper than rent. The second floor kitchen has a pantry. It's behind me. Plenty of storage. The cabinets are metal. They're the bulletproof kind. Not real fancy, but very durable and made to last. More stained glass. You leave the kitchen to head to the attached bathroom that has a tub and shower. Two bathrooms, one on each floor. Rear storage, the unheated kind. Most apartments don't have any storage space. This one does. The second floor apartment has a lot of electric heat. You get the benefit of the heat from down below that rises. That's the home at Seven Maple. 
rent to someone that keeps it awfully hot, hot, hot downstairs, you can coast living on the second level. There's a dishwasher, lots of updated wiring, there's newer appliances, and it's priced to sell. Would you like to roll up your sleeves and tackle this project, and bring in the family and everybody that owes you a favor, or buy something for thousands of dollars more that's neat as a pin? Me neither. We're here to show you this handyman special. It's had quite a bit of work done to it. That's the rear entrance that takes you to the second floor. This is your first floor storage area. Thanks for watching the Main Real Estate Channel. Please look down below for more property listing information. And if you're not already a member, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video.